So we're going to create a custom page. Uh, this is going to require uh, creating a new view model class. Uh, we're also going to have to adjust the instructor index and the instructor view for this. Uh, but when they choose instructor, what it's going to display is all of the instructors like it does now, but they're going to be able to select a particular instructor. And then the courses taught by that instructor are going to display. And then if they select a particular course, they're going to get to see the students that are enrolled. So first step is creating the view model. Uh, and we do have a view model folder because we've already created view models. And so this one is just going to be using instructor, course, and enrollment. And then we have to adjust the instructor controller. Uh, we do need to add the using statement to the top to pull in view models. And then the index method is the one that we want to adjust. And so we've got ID and course ID, which may or may not be filled in. And then we have uh, a view model for instructors which is going to include the office assignment and the courses, sorting by last name. If the ID isn't null, okay, then it's going to pull in courses. And if the course ID isn't null, then it's going to pull in enrollments. Okay, and then we are returning that view model. Then in the instructor index view, right now there is a table. It's kind of hard to see the highlighting, but uh, there is currently a table in that view. And we're just going to be adding to it uh, to display selected courses. So if the model courses isn't null, which may, means that the ID for course was filled in, and so the controller sent some data. Okay, so it's not null. Then we do another little table that displays that course information. And then if the there were enrollments, so in the controller, it checked to see if there were enrollments there, and there was, and it passed it along. So if there are enrollments, then we create uh, another little table for the enrollments. So with this little model, there's going to be a constant back and forth between the controller and the view because you can change the instructor, you can change the course. So the data that's getting passed back and forth is going to be constantly changing. And so we are going to go ahead and create our view model. And let's go back into our application. And so we do have a view model folder already. Let's add a class to that. The class is going to be called Instructor Index Data. We're going to modify the code. So it's pulling in instructor course and enrollment, which basically are the three things that we're going to display. So let's save this, run a build. So the first task is completed. Our next task in doing this is to edit the instructor controller. So we're going to come up to controller, instructor controller. Let's open this up. And we need to modify the index, which right now is pretty short. So we're going to be adding quite a bit of code to this. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, I think what we're going to do is just comment out 
this one. And let's create a brand new one. Okay, and this is what we just looked at where we've got uh, the ID and the course ID. And so it's checking ID, seeing if that was filled in and pulling in courses and then it's checking the course ID and if that was filled in, it's pulling in enrollments. Uh, this is flagged because I did not put in my using statement, which I have to put up here. Okay, so we have to use the view models. And now there is no error because it knows about it. So I'm going to save. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit my instructor index view. And there's quite a bit that we're changing here because we're basically adding three tables to the bottom. So there is code for you to copy and paste and it is kind of lengthy. I'm just gonna paste right over the top. So the top part really didn't change, okay? It still is displaying the instructor table. Uh, the only thing we've added is this little select here. Uh, but below that, did change because now we have a separate table for courses if courses is filled in and we have a separate table for enrollments if enrollments has been filled in and let's do a little save all and now we are going to run a build and again view models do not change the database so there's no need to do migrations with this And since the build succeeded, let's go ahead and run our app. And so we have instructors. We can select any of the instructors. And the minute we select the instructor, it's going to show the courses. Uh, and then if we select the course, it can actually show students that are enrolled. And we can change the instructor, select the course. These are the students, select a different course, showing different students. Okay, so this is an example of pulling in multiple models. What we're going to be covering next is how to update multiple models. And we need to be able to do that in order to adjust the instructor's office. So that will be coming in part two.